Hi, this is Lee Ambergy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Mentor, Ohio, Stamp, um, stampwithlee.com. And thank you for joining me um, for today's video. I will have a video um, in just a little bit. We'll make a card. But first I wanted to go over a few things and that is my um, September PDF ordering tutorial. September's tutorial features the um, Fond of Autumn bundle and with my tutorial if you place a $25 order before tax and shipping online and you use a particular host code I send you an email that has um, a PDF um, for five cards using that bundle you receive pictures of the cards all the material that's used, the dimensions um, for all the paper, and step-by-step -step directions. So that is just an ordering perk um, that I offer each month. Um, also, I want to go over that started um, September 1st was the Perfect Partners. And what that is, is Stamping Up has taken particular stamp sets in the annual catalog, in the current mini catalog, and they have exclusive dies that coordinate um, with that. So again, this um, started September 1st. It will go to the end of the month or only while supplies last. So if there is a particular um, die set um, that you want, grab it while you can. Um, the stamps are available as a single order, but by stamping up coming out with the exclusive dies, and they're offering it also as a bundle. So that will save you 10%. So that is another special. All of this is, is on my blog um, at the bottom of this, this video listed after that. And this is the card that we'll be making um, today. And that features the, um, the Brightest Glow um, stamp set. And that is in um, the current mini catalog. And it is offered as a bundle, but I did not want um, the dies. I just liked the greetings. Um, so I just took the option of ordering just a stamp set. And you can do that. Um, so that's um, this greeting right here, the season's greetings. And what we will be making is a very, very simple card. Um, it's the Bows of Holly designer series paper um, and the, the ribbon is the ruffled and it's the real red mini ruffled ribbon um, and the uh, basic um, red rhinestones and that's it and I have the season's greetings on the front and then I stamped a greeting on the inside of the card also so let's get started again like I said so so simple so I have a piece of four and a quarter by eleven um, thick basic white cardstock um, that is um, scored in the middle five and a half and I always will score my thick uh, basic white or very vanilla I will use either my um, scoreboard or my trimmer to get a score line if you just try to fold that over it because this is thick, you might get some, some crinkling and some, some bends in your cardstock that you really don't want. So that is that. Um, next, I just have a um, three, I think this is three by three, and this is two and three quarters square. Um, evening, evening Evergreen and the Designer Series paper. And um, I, all the dimensions, measurements will be listed. Um, on my blog for this and this is a great card if you want to send out cards but you're like scrunched for time or you want something that's simple and easy this is great get your designer series paper and cut out a small piece mat it and whatever so what I like to do is just place this on here, kind of like what I call a dry fit. Um, place this on here so I kind of know where I want to stamp my greeting. So I'm using Real Red ink. This is the Seasons Greeting Stamp. And no, I very seldom do, <coughs> excuse me, very seldom do I put labels 
on my stamps. But again, if I'm not sure if I'm in the right direction, stamp on your work grid. Um, it's a great way to see what's going on. So this is a dry fit again. This is where I want it. Put my grieving here. Hopefully I'll be straight. And I stamped it upside down. So that's not a problem. We can fix that real easy by taking a scrap piece of paper or now I really don't want my greeting at the top. So like I always tell people, there are no mistakes in stamping, just creative ways to do things. And I'm gonna get a scrap piece of basic white Stamp my greeting, and this time it's not going to matter if I'm upside down or not, <laughs> which I still was. And then I smeared it. You know, this is maybe maybe the maybe I'm not supposed to do a video today. I not only smeared it, I have ink all over my fingers too. You know? Oh my gosh! And I keep cutting that crooked. Let's grab another scrap. Let's see if we can do better this time. Talk about messing up on messing up on live TV. I'm doing a real good job of it. Okay. Let's see if we can get this better this time. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for just a bit to make sure I don't mess it up again. I'm just gonna take my snips. Just to angle the sides. Oh, must have adhesive on there. Okay, we've covered up the mistake. So let's keep rolling. I my adhesive. So again, <laughs> there's no mistakes in stamping. creative ways to do things. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I like to do what I call a fake. I don't wind my ribbon around because I'm wasting ribbon and it adds bulk. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on here. Get my ribbon on here. Does that look straight? That looks okay. I'm still going to trim up just a little bit. Like I said, I don't want any bulk. And this one, I was going to put dimensionals on it, but I think because of the bow, I'm just going to keep it where it is. And I always put the piece of where my ribbon is. Hopefully that's going to be centered. All bets are off today on this card after messing up my greeting and everything else. <laughs> oh, I'd like to say it's Monday, but it's not. Um, I'm not filming this on a Monday, so I can't even blame it on it being a bad Monday. And I just loop my ribbon through, tie a knot, trim my ends. And if you want to make sure that that's not going to go anywhere, a little trick is to take, where are they? Take a glue dot, a piercer, take your pick tool, grab a, grab a glue dot, and just put that underneath where your knot is, your bow is, to keep that down. And that's, <laughs> that's the front of our card. And like I said, I'm going to grab the red rhinestone jewels. 
This is a brand new pack of them. So I'm just going to add some rhinestones onto the card. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm brave enough to, to put a greeting inside of this one or not. Ugh. Definitely this time I'm going to stamp on my mat so I know I'm in the right direction. And stamp my greeting on the inside. And that's it. Very basic, very simple card. And I guess a good way to show you that if you mess up stamping your greeting, you can always fix it. Just go stamp your greeting on something else, cover it up, and you're good to go. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you stopping by. Bye.